Welcome to the channel with your friend Blessed Row. Hi everybody. Welcome to Blessed Row Cooks. Today we are going to be making this yummy delicious shrimp alfredo. Stay tuned. I already have my noodles on the stove boiling. You can use fettuccine noodles or linguine noodles if whatever you have available or whatever you prefer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start off by seasoning my shrimp. I'm using some Badia Complete today and I'm also using some garlic powder. I'm using some Creole Kick and I'm gonna add in some black pepper and some paprika. I'm gonna go ahead and mix my seasoning up on all of my shrimp. While I'm doing this, I have me some olive oil heating up in the pan. After I do this, I'm gonna go ahead over to the pan. So I'll meet you at the pan. I'm gonna let the shrimp cook for about two minutes on each side, just until they start to change color. Single layer, I'm putting them on the single layer on this side. Then when they start changing color, about a minute or two, I'm gonna flip them over and let it cook on the other side. You definitely do not wanna overcook y'all shrimp. So I wanna thank you for joining me even though this is at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. And while we're waiting on this shrimp to cook, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Is your favorite shrimp or chicken Alfredo? Which do you prefer? These people in this house love shrimp Alfredo. So that is our favorite. They love it. They love the homemade Alfredo sauce. And as you're gonna see in this video, the homemade Alfredo sauce is so easy to make. So why not make it? It tastes good, it's easy to make. And stay tuned so you can see how easy it is. And then you can go out and make you some homemade Alfredo sauce. Try this recipe and then come back and let me know how you like it. You can also let me know in the comments if there's a dish or something that you would like to see me prepare. A dish, a dessert, side, meat. Let me know in the comments something that you'd like to see me make. And I'll check it out. And then I might add it to my things to make list. And I'll give you a shout out for suggesting it. After my shrimp got ready, I went ahead and removed them from the pan. I put them to the side and I added in three tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna go ahead and saute some onions that I diced small earlier. And I'm gonna saute the onions in this butter and oil. Do not remove any of the drippings, any of the oil, anything, cause we getting all that flavor. After I finish cooking my onions, I'm gonna go ahead and add in about two tablespoons of minced garlic. Once I stir that in, I'm gonna get me some chicken broth and I'll add about two third cups of chicken broth in. I'm gonna use that to help me get all of the deliciousness off the bottom of the pan. And then I'm gonna add in a cup of heavy cream. Do not bring the heavy cream to a boil. We just want to heat the heavy cream because you don't want it to separate. After this, we're gonna add in about two tablespoons of black pepper. You can also add you in some salt if you want to, but make sure you taste it because the cheese is also gonna add some saltiness and you don't want it to be too salty. You can always add, but you can't take away. Now, I did not mention earlier, but I do boil my noodles with chicken bouillon. I add chicken bouillon cubes in it my water which makes it chicken broth so you can add chicken bouillon cubes in your water when you boil your noodles or you can boil your noodles in chicken broth this just adds another layer of flavor now i'm adding in my parmesan cheese and i'm stirring it into the sauce so that it can melt I'll make sure i got all this heavy cream out of this measuring cup yeah let's just add that on in and after this i'm gonna go ahead and add in my noodles you could add in as many or as little noodles as you want to your sauce you can have them as wet or as dry as you want them the amount of noodles you add is your preference we're getting our noodles coated in our delicious sauce so they can soak up some of this yummy delicious flavor and then we're going to add in some parsley you can add in fresh parsley if you have it today i'm using dry parsley and then we're going to go ahead and stir our parsley in once we have our parsley added in, we're gonna go ahead and add our shrimp back in. And I'm also gonna add in any juice that came off of the shrimp when I had them set to the side. I'm pouring that in too, because I want that delicious flavor in this pan. After we stir the shrimp in, y'all, we are finished. 
Doesn't that look delicious though? Yes, it looks really delicious. So all we have left to do now is plate it up. You can pair this with some garlic bread. Get you some good old crunchy garlic bread. We have broccoli with ours. You can pair it with you a side salad. That would be delicious too. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And remember to always put God first in everything. Join me again next time on Blessed Row Cooks. Turn on your TV screen. Turn on your phone. Turn on your laptop. We're watching Blessed Row. Blessed Row.